If the Joffe Bill is passed, what effect will that have on your elderly patients? I think it will change the atmosphere in a big way. It will solve a few problems. It will give you a whole set you never had before. It will be difficult to keep the subject out of most discussions with old people. Old people will perceive their doctors and hospitals differently. And I think uh, there will be a ratcheting up of pressure from other people in the family to make decisions on things that perhaps old people are not actually clamouring for. Because the number of patients I see who ask me about this is tiny. Are there particular problems among the elderly in making decisions that can truly be described as autonomous? I don't think most old people see themselves as autonomous. I think they would talk to their relatives, they would make many of their decisions in community, they would be very sensitive to what their families say. This is an advantage, it's also a vulnerability, particularly if the person concerned has difficulty retaining information and has a short-term memory problem, for instance, they may be reliant quite heavily on their family. Now, the law seems to have this sorted out, and it does not, because the idea that an old person just weighs things up and makes their decision, it isn't like that. And you have to think, well, would this actually make the relationship as an old person is dying easier or more difficult? I have no hesitation in saying it would introduce a lot of difficulties. Yet the perception is that many people die without dignity. In fact, lots of people say you wouldn't allow your dog to die, as their relatives do. Death is not a dignified business, and we've become very unfamiliar with it. It's locked away in hospitals and nursing homes and that kind of thing. And as often as not, when I have a relative say to me, you've got to do something, you've got to bring this to an end, um, I look at the patient and they're lying very comfortably in bed, thank you, and it's the relative who's very upset. And you have to gently introduce into the conversation, well, hang on a minute, whose distress am I treating? You're very upset at what's happening to mum and dad. Of course you are. But on the other hand, I wonder if your mum or dad is quite so upset. And I wonder if what they might most value from you right now is for you to go and have a natter with them. To what extent do doctors working in your line agree with you? I know very few colleagues who have much time for the idea of physician-assisted suicide in elderly people. There are a few, but they're a distinct minority. It's very interesting that the doctors who are most at the coalface here, palliative care consultants, geriatricians, GPs, are all pretty solidly against, where certainly ethicists and people perhaps who are not seeing patients all the time uh, are more pro. Lord Joffe says it's about patient choice, allowing adults to make adult decisions. Surely, if people want that choice, they should be allowed to have it. I don't come across them that easily. I have a lot of people who will say, comfort me, sort out my distress, be with me, don't walk away from me. But that's something very different. It could be confused with somebody saying, get me out of this mess by dying, but that's not what most people are saying to me. Of course people have the right to die, and they will exercise it, whatever I say. But actually, it depends how you ask the question. If you ask people in the street, do people who are dying have a right to be comfortable? They'll all say yes. Do they have a, a, a right to some choices around their death? They'll all say yes. If you say, do people have a right to insist that their doctors give them poison? Because that is what we're talking about. All of a sudden, the percentage will crash right down. That's very much how you ask the question. All I can say is old people aren't clamouring for it. They really are not. Isn't it the case that doctors have always accelerated death through medication and what's being discussed now is just a logical next step from where we already are? No, I don't think it is. I think it represents a paradigm shift. It is one thing to deal with someone's distress, even if necessary, to give people sufficient assistance with their distress and their pain or what have you, that you may even, as a secondary effect, make them die quicker. Although I think that's really uncommon. Most people give them morphine for pain and do not die of the morphine. They die of their disease. It's something quite different to intend the person's death, irrespective of whether or not you do something with their symptoms. That's very different, and it would change the whole relationship between people. How do you think it would affect your relationship with your own elderly patients if this bill is passed? It was not so long ago that hospitals are places you went to die. Thankfully, there are more often now places you get better and you go home. Only 15% of 
of my very elderly frail people die in hospital. Imagine if it was all back the other way and the hospital was really a place you went to have your injection and die. That would be very negative, I believe. Very negative.